good morning welcome back to the channel welcome back to my vlog we are still in vlogtober this morning has been a morning it's been interesting not like bad or not bad well i guess it could be considered i don't know y'all listen the frogs are after me okay i don't know if they think i'm princess tiana i don't know what's going on this morning when I got up, I went to the bathroom to do like my skincare, like my morning routine. Well, it was a little stuffy because I didn't have the air on because it's just not hot. It's just not hot. So I thought, well, I would just open the, the, the bathroom window. So I cranked the bathroom window open and then I hear like a, like a plop sound like But it's really loud and I'm like, what is that? Long story short, a frog came through a hole in the window. The frogs, baby, the frogs are after me. I Google and it says the Native American said the frogs are a sign of prosperity and wealth. And you know, I, I'm gonna lean into that. I'm gonna lean into that because there's no other reason why the frogs are just after me. If this is my season, honey, if this is my season, this is my season and I will, you know, I'll take that. That's, that's if that's what it is, you know. I also saw the Egyptians said it was something about fertility. We don't want nothing to do with that. We don't want nothing to do with that. Um, so we gonna go with the Native Americans. It also said, um, another group said it was a sign of stability. We'll take that too. Can't remember who that was. So this morning we are, and Jax decides to eat right now, right now. We, we've been down here for like a couple minutes and he decides to eat right now. So today I um, had a laundry list of things to do. I don't know if we're still having Spanish class. I have a meeting this morning I also am going to, I'm trying to go to the gym like right now so I can go early and get that over with that I will have time to shower and change and start my day. So it's, um, it's like six something right now. So hopefully I can get into the gym. If the gym is still open, they close schools today. I think they close schools tomorrow as well. I'm not sure. So we shall see what the um, what the outcome is or whatnot. I, I don't know. We'll see what what comes of all this. And I have to get muriatic acid to pour down the exterior drains because there's going to be a large amount of flooding, um, large amount of raining. So the muriatic acid we pour that down the drains to keep the um, to 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 clear up the drains. Clear up the drains? I think I know what I'm saying, but anyway. So we have to do that today and secure some of the patio furniture. The hurricane is not supposed to hit until tomorrow from what I saw on the, what you call it? I don't know. I'm just gonna try and get everything done now. And so, you can do whatever whatever you need to do. It's not supposed to come over land. We're just supposed to get like the outer outer winds. Yeah, so it's supposed to stay in the water and just go north of us at Progresso. I'm not far from Progresso. So I'm sure I'll get some more feel of the wind. Thankfully, my, my walls are high. So the last time the wind wasn't like the, the break even now, actually the rainstorms we have now is worse than the hurricane we had last time. But the the walls break a lot of the wind, which is great. But I need to pull like my trash can in the front. And then when I pull the, I, I need to get gas in the car. That's what I need to do, I need to get gas. And when I pull the car in, I need to pull the car all the way in because I'm so lazy. I park it half under the covering and half. Um, I just pull, I just, can park three cars and I only got one. So, you know, I just pull it in however and just hop out. <laughs> so I'm gonna pull it all the way in today just in case I don't leave the house today. We've been gro we've grocery shopped. We have everything that we need uh, to sustain us. Uh, um, and we checked to make sure everything we needed. 
I need to start the generator. Y'all are like, girl, why have you not started? I need to start the generator and just see if it works. I mean, I'm sure it works, but just feel comfortable. So I'm gonna do that today. Yeah, I'm absolutely going to do that today. Let's go to the gym. Got to the gym thinking. Me thinking. You know, they canceled school. It's not gonna be that crowded. I had to wait for this parking spot. It's a good parking spot though. But I had to wait for this parking spot. These people don't care if it's a hurricane or not. Oh my god, freaking gym rats. They need jobs too. Every time I come to the gym, I I come to the gym sometime middle of the day during the week. I hate going to the gym during the week. Let's, let's just be honest. I hate. I love Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Those are my gym days. However, I did not go on Saturday this week. So I have no choice but to go Monday, Tuesday this week. And um, I probably won't be going Tuesday because I'm sure the gym will be closed tomorrow. Because the hurricane is supposed to be in this area around noon tomorrow. So I probably just do my stair stepper at home. But today is back, biceps, and shoulders. Uh, tomorrow would be leg. I did triceps yesterday. I did not do chest yesterday. Um, I don't know, like, how important is it that a woman has a nice, like, to train these muscles? Somebody's going to tell me, oh, you got to train these muscles today. I don't know, but I'm trying to get rid of like these grandma arms, so I have to train triceps for that. I don't know. And then I stopped at the gas station. I gotta stop stopping at this gas station because I keep drinking these things. They're so good. Anyway. But let me tell you, this thing was so dirty. It put like a ring. This one, not the other one. I wiped it off, but it was still a little dirty. You can see it. Ciao. It has a ring on my pants. So, anyway, I need to stop drinking those. For real, like straight up need to stop drinking those. Okay, what was I going to say? Yeah, these people don't have a job. Y'all need to do something. Like, go to work. Go to work. Do something with yourself. Every time I come in here, you in the gym. They always in the gym during the week. Monday through Friday. Well, not through Friday. Friday, like, in the morning, it'll be crowded. But, like, 9, 10 o'clock is like, all right, they don't, those people don't come. So, it's like they only work out Monday through Thursday. Anyway, I'm dreading going in here. That's why I'm talking, y'all. I'm dreading going in here. Like, there's... Like I literally had to sit and wait. I wasn't about to park over there in the in the dirt part or like across the way. I parked over there before, but it's already like if y'all can see a little water, it's already raining a little bit. So I, I just I'm not in the mood to be walking through a little mud. I'm not. I'm not going to do it today. And then the other one other ones were handicapped. And I know people parking handicapped ones all the time. I don't like that. I don't like that. I really don't. I'm really not in the mood. On leg days, I can go like into my little corner. I go into my little corner, go to the little machine. I can stay there. I can stay there the whole time in that little corner and nobody will bother me. I mean, maybe some people want to come and like take some weight off of my, my machine, the rack or whatever. But PT, I think I got PTSD from this gym. People, everybody always want to talk to me. I just, I'm just not. I don't want to talk. I just want to go into the gym, do whatever it is I got to do, and come out. But you know what? Today, maybe nobody will care. Maybe everybody will be in here 
trying to get their hurricane body together and they don't care about me and I pray that's the case today. I pray that's the case. The jackpot finally did it off on you Till I search for something better You're just too good to be true Ain't nobody like you Alright, let's talk about it So apparently the, the hurricane just got upgraded to a category 5 So now I gotta bring all this stuff off the patio Put it, secure it I don't want to do none of that stuff. I don't. The last time we had a hurricane, it was a beautiful sunny day with a little wind, a little rain. Now, I know this is exactly why I should do everything I did the first time. But I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to do none of that stuff. Anyway. Let's at least throw the stuff into the pool. I don't want to do any of that. I don't, puppy dog. I don't. I don't want to do any of this stuff. I'm so tired of adulting. Like, can I can I go back to being a child for a little bit? Like, I just I don't want to have to worry about anything. So Janata, clean her room, make sure her room is clean and take a shower, put on clean clothes. That's the extent of her stress and make sure everything, make sure all her stuff is plugged up. That's all she gotta worry about. What else is she supposed to worry about? That's what I need. Somebody, I need, I need to find a husband because I don't have to worry about doing stuff. He can do all this stuff. Cause I don't want to. No. Okay, y'all. So due to the wind, I can't put y'all outside. The wind kept y'all. Yeah, y'all kept falling over. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start on the patio now, y'all. I, I don't know why I'm just not in the mood to do this, but we have to go do this now. Okay, we we have no choice but to do this now.
in the army, there's a saying, train as you fight. And that's really what I'm like. Why did it take me so long to do this? Like when I did it however long ago, that was the training. That was that was the training. This could be another training scenario as well. We could nothing could happen. You know. Absolutely nothing could happen. But it's so much easier this time around. It's like the anxiety is gone. Almost as if I am too nonchalant about it. And now that I'm going through it, it feels easier. Like I feel like I would have been more anxious, but I feel as though because I have everything I need, I prepared so well. And then I just so happen to go to the grocery store the other day. So it's like, I'm all, I'm all caught up. All I need to do is just, you know, just clean the interior of the house. And then once I um, sweep and mop, then I can move the outdoor patio uh, table in and put the cushions over in that corner. I am gonna move everything out that corner because as we all know, it's been raining over there. So I'm just gonna slide everything to the left a little bit and put towels and, and uh, buckets over there to catch the water. So yeah, that's all I gotta do now. But I'm gonna stop, have me something to eat. I'm gonna stop and have me something to eat. And then I'm going to come back and work on the rest of this because I am amazed at myself. It's like, what, why were you putting this off? What's the point? I was also scared there was gonna be some frogs outside, but it was just a little lizard. I don't mind the little geckos. The geckos, they cool. The frog, mm mm, mm mm. But like I said, the frogs are a sign of prosperity, so. I'm going to lean into that. I'm going to lean into that. That's what I'm going to lean into. My whole... Oh, man. My trash can has already blown away. Let me grab my trash can. Let me get my trash can. <laughs> it's already... Child. It's already blown away. Where did it go? I was supposed to grab it and put it in the back. All right. Let me just set it right here. And when I come back, I'll move it. Move it into the back. Oh, child. All right, I, I have to go get gas. My whole morning has been thrown off. I'm still in my gym clothes, but uh, we need to go get, we need to go get gas right now. I was on the phone or I was group chat with my home girl Chantel and she was saying how where she had went to they were in the streets but where I live it's like so much further out so I think this is the reason why it's not so crowded and the line is 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 moving rapidly I don't need to get um gas for the the generator like in the in the um can I don't need to get gas in the can today because I got two cans both of my cans are full from the last time again just just prepared so I think what's taking the most time for people to fill up is because most people are filling up their car in addition to filling up gas cans and there are some people like these trucks have these really big cans in the back I almost feel like I don't know. <laughs> I probably should have got another. I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not going to see people panic and they panic. I prepared for this. I prepared for this. I know what to do ish. You know, I know what to do up until this point. And that's what I am going to do. You know, preparation makes these type of situations 
easier tolerable i'm tolerable yeah so i'm not gonna freak out because i see other people freaking out or whatnot this is this is cool we're gonna be all right it is 1 26 p.m it's raining and we've lost power So I'm gonna go move the last of the stuff on the patio and get the, the outdoor set brought in right now. <laughs> it feels like I abandoned y'all for a second, but I have, I have been doing all type of just little things in between moving the furniture around. But right now I'm waiting on the waiting on the floor to dry over there so I can bring the uh, patio furniture from outside and put it over there. Um, what else? Uh, made something to eat so i have to wash wash the dishes wash the dishes and then i'm going to take the laundry up to the bedroom that's the best that's the best i have that's 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 the best i have yeah so i'm gonna take the stuff <laughs> i'm gonna take the laundry up to the uh up to the bedrooms and then that's it that's it, that's it, that's all. And then we're just gonna wait it out. Um, and then we're just gonna wait it out. I think the, the biggest thing, that looks so busy in the background. I think the, um, my head. <laughs> I think the biggest thing right now is, I remember a few, was it months ago? I don't know. I don't even know when it was. But whenever we had the last Hurricane Barrel, uh, like there was so much chatter in like the WhatsApp groups. And everybody swears they know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows something about what's going on, who's cutting off the lights, who's doing this and who's doing that. And child, I come to find out expats be lying. Mm-hmm. Expats be lying. Expats don't know no know anything. It's like they just be making stuff up. Like, oh my 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 this that everybody. I know a local. That's the that's the phrase. The phrase. Yeah, I, I know a local. The no, the local told me this. The local who name your source. Like name your source. It was just tell. It was a lot of mess last time. So this time I am refraining from um from the groups because i noticed it was a lot of fear mongering and then a lot of i know more than you know i know this and you don't know that or i did this and i did that or who saw i let the you know and then there was the opposite end of the spectrum you know doom doom and gloom no it was doom and gloom it was like three categories it was like the doom and gloom like oh my god you know it's the end is coming and then it was the i know everything that's going on you just need to do this and this and this and this and then it was the um the, the other end of the spectrum is the you know at this time you know the universe will provide air and oxygen and wind and rain and it's like okay <laughs> So I think it's kind of one of those things. I really feel like before I really was like in those groups, in those groups, in those groups, in those groups. And then I just realized to just relay on, relay, rely on my provider group. Um, it gave me the most sense of peace because you know, they were reporting on what was actually going on in my area because some people in Central was like, they had power outages, they had this, they had that. And over here we had nothing. Like the weather looked like, looked like this, you know. Um, but like for, for like right now, we've just had like sporadic. We've had my 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 good um tripod is upstairs. 
but we can't find the frog. So I ain't going back up there, you know. I've been going up there and I go and I like peep in the room and I'm like, yeah, I'm about to shower. I'm about to shower in the guest room when I go shower. And, and, and shout out to my laundry not being put away because I can get some clothes out of my laundry bag and I'm sure there's something in there I can put on and I got my toothbrush and I can use Janai skincare. We good. <laughs> We good until further notice. <laughs> until further notice, we are okay. So, yeah, anyway, just, I don't know. Preparedness, like I, I said earlier, you know, in the military, say trainers, we fight. I feel prepared outside of this generator. Outside of the generator. But as soon as I move, so, as soon as I move, as soon as I move the patio furniture in like the next few minutes, uh, yeah, in the next few minutes, as soon as I move the patio furniture, I'm going to make sure I can turn the generator on with, with confidence. That's what I'm going to do. I'll make sure I can turn the generator on with confidence. It's 3 p.m. So uh, everything is supposed to hit between 8 and 5 a.m. So I still have time just in case I need to phone a friend or a friend. I'm probably going to call my brother. <laughs> call my brother. That's what I'm going to call. I'm going to call my brother. And, and have him walk me, have him walk me through it if I have an issue. But I, I, I'm gonna try for myself first and see how it goes. It looks very straightforward. The the YouTube videos, the hundred thousand YouTube videos for all the different. I, I watched this for this brand, and I don't even know many other brands. They all seem very, very, very straightforward. So I should be able to do this. I should be able to do this. You know what I'm saying? I have a graduate degree. All right. Reading the manual should not be, it should not be this intimidating, but it is, it is, it is. I have learned so much about myself on this journey here in Mexico, but. All right, let's get off of that. Let's get off of that and get this table in the house. Let's do that. You know what? I need to go spray this table because I kind of feel like it might be a, a spider or something on it. I don't really trip about like spiders. It's the frogs. And I feel like the frogs are I feel like the frogs are bullying me personally. Personally, I feel like I am a victim of bullying. Like they be on my car, they come into my bedroom. And I wonder how it got in until I opened the window up and then I heard it. So that that that's the only way it could have gotten in. Like cause all the drains are like covered and stuff, so Anyway, child, life in Mexico. Let's move this table so I can face I can face my Goliath. Is that what it is? Goliath face my Goliath. Face my life. I feel like that's a sermon that I heard in my childhood show. All right, let's go do it. Is it too late? My dear friend. We felt the sunshine. We found the gold. We thought we'd be forever young, but now I know we can't keep floating. We have to fall. Can't keep floating. My family is 
messaging me. <laughs> you know, they be like, girl, we didn't grow up with tornado. We didn't grow up with hurricanes. We grew up with tornadoes. They like, why, 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 why? We'll be okay. I really should turn some lights on, huh? Electricity is high. <laughs> Electricity is high. Y'all don't get no lights. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to plug those emergency bulbs up. Let's do that. This is the beat of broken hearts. Is it our last? We can't go on. up I just plugged it in you have to plug it in and turn it on while it's running oh I'm probably blinded y'all huh so you have to plug it in and turn it on that's how you charge it Lord, I don't know what my dog got a hold to now he's vomiting Let's go make sure the, the generator works. Janai, Janai, bring your flashlight. too y'all there's no excuse it's no excuse it's no excuse thank you day <laughs> and it's 3 43 but it's dark it's getting dark outside this yellow light is kind of eerie huh okay it has fuel it has oil to start up Ground the generator A. Disconnect all devices from the connection panel. You know, let's go outside and do this. Let's take well, we don't need a flashlight, it's not dark. Let's 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 
Let's go. Outside. Let's go outside and do this. I need to sweep out here too. I mean, I don't know why. I don't get stuff. It's just my pool is just gonna be dirty and stuff is just gonna blow on here. No, 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 don't. Okay. Okay. I, I, this is all I got. Oh, I guess I can't see. Okay. Knees like me. Knees like me. Knees like me. Okay, okay. Focus, focus, people, focus. <laughs> focus! Okay. Start up. Ground the generator. Disconnect all the devices from the connection panel. Nothing's in the connection panel. Okay, checks move. Double check the switch and the breaker are off. Off. Make sure fuel tap B is open. Make sure the choke lever C into the off position. position. Gently pull choke lever E until feeling resistance and then pull with force. Once the machine is on, check set choke lever C to on position. choke lever how many times Troubleshoot because it's not working. The motor is not starting. Okay, the switches is off. Gasoline does not reach the carburetor. Not enough fuel. fuel. I know it's enough fuel. So,
Now I have to identify what the hell a carburetor is. <laughs> Cause I don't know. Let's check the oil. I need some oil. Did I put oil in this before? One was oil and one was gas. Which one is this one? This is oil. I don't remember this one didn't work that well. generator oh. make sure fuel tap B is open oh. choke C lever is in the off position Switch D into the on position. Um, gently pull level E. Off. 
fuel tap B is on. Oh, this is on. This is off. Okay, 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 okay. I read on and off wrong. Okay. Let's try this one more time. It wasn't getting any fuel. Okay, so double check that the breakers are off. The breakers are off. Make sure fuel tap B is on. Fuel is on. Make sure choke lever is in off position. Off. Make sure switch D is in on position. On. Then gently pull. generator works let me clean up this mess out here child i need a shower now oh yeah i see how people with stressed out lives turn to the bottle baby because my nerves are bad why is there smoke coming out of it i don't know i'm about to get in the shower then i wash the dishes because i'm tired look at this i'm tired Okay, <laughs> I'm back. I took a shower. I think I want to end this vlog after I check on the light and see if it charged up a little bit. And then I'm going to start it back with hurricane footage. I don't know. Um, I just I just feel like it's a lot to edit. It's going to be a long vlog so i'm going to first check and see if leaving the light on for the last hour did what it was supposed to do okay so these are the jackson lux emergency lights and Duh. So I think they need to be plugged up and running to recharge. The last time I just screwed them in, but then they didn't work. So let's see if I got it right this time. At my other house, I had sconces that I screwed them into and then I just screwed them. I actually left one when I moved. Um, in the ceiling. So let's see if this works. They worked at the other house. So they have these little pieces that you can either hang or use like a flashlight. So let's screw this in and see if this works. It does not. So the operator error. No. Maybe they just don't work anymore. Maybe I didn't leave it plugged up long enough. Maybe this doesn't get enough voltage. Rechargeable LED bulb. How long does it have to charge to be fully recharged? That's the million dollar question.
Well, this may have been a bust. I don't know if it's the chargey thingy, not putting off enough juice to charge it up. But I'm gonna put the one I already had in here, back in here and just let it go. I mean, all I can do is hope I can just hope that it's gonna work. But also I think in my guest bathroom, I think I can plug one up. I'll go check that out and see. Anyway, thank you for watching thus far. In the meantime, in between time, everybody be safe, take care of yourself, take care of your neighbor. I appreciate everyone for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Until next time, bye.